and I'm going to ask them to tell us a little bit about themselves and uh, what organization they represent. And also one thing, if there was one or two things that are really important to you as an investor that you're looking to do, that would be great. And I'd like to start with Eric Ferraro. Eric is a partner in Pitchforce, which I'll talk about in a minute. Eric is an attorney with LeClaire Ryan. He's a former uh, founder of a startup, CEO of a, of a startup. I'll let him tell a little bit about himself and his investment philosophy and a little bit about LeClaire Ryan. Eric. Thanks, Max. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Um, so, yeah, as Max mentioned, I run the venture tech practice at LeClaire Ryan. We're a national law firm with offices all over the country. Uh, represent clients uh, you know, in the startup space uh, across the spectrum of industries. We have a mic. From this. Can you, you guys, guys hear me in the back? Can you hear in the back? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, in addition to my law practice, I've also been a, a startup founder uh, twice now. Sold my last company to a division of Sony Entertainment last year. Uh, just some angel investing and, and try to work with uh, with clients, both my, my law clients and clients that I you know, work with on an advisory basis, sort of with a multidisciplinary perspective, having been a founder, a lawyer, and an investor. Um, in terms of investing philosophy, I, I think like most investors, you know, it's really all about the team first and foremost. Uh, there's an intangible quality that certain founding teams have that just make investors uh, feel confident and excited about what you're doing. You know, beyond that, it's the traditional ideas of big market, the right solution to monetize in that market. Defensible technology is always great, but uh, it doesn't doesn't boil down to a formula. It's a, it's a you know, there's a sixth sense that I think investors and, and guys like me develop after having done this for a lot of years. I've been doing this since the first dot com. Uh, era and uh, love it. So if I can help any of you guys in any way, come talk to me uh, at the break or afterwards. Great, thanks. Matthew. I'm Matthew Lamal. Um, I've also been investing uh, in other stage companies for about 15 years. Can you guys Some, hear in the back? Yep, right. Sometimes uh, as an angel, sometimes as, uh, as a VC. And um, then I've had day jobs along the way. Uh, Fifth Era is my firm. We've invested in about 20 companies. Uh, my partner and I have been fortunate to have four IPOs, of which Zoom was the, the most recent in January. And, uh, but uh, a lot of failures along the way as well. Six or seven companies <coughs> that have failed. Um, in terms of advice for people in the room, I'd say the most important thing, especially for the apps, and I think a number of the things that we're going to hear about are apps, it's how you're going to drive massive traffic. I mean, we, we all know that you'll have a beta. The beta will probably get, you know, You'll modify and you'll probably get reasonable results in beta, but scaling it up is the biggest single challenge in this time frame. And I think very few teams really understand how to drive uh, tr massive traffic once their app is getting some traction. Victor, please. Uh, Victor Belfour, I, um, I work uh, very closely with 500 startups as well as um, a venture firm called Accelerator Ventures. I uh, have been um, an operating executive on the business development side in B2B uh, startups with about $500 million in exits or so. Um, looking forward to helping you guys out and offering you sort of my humble opinion. Um, in terms of uh, investing, um, I, like, uh, I like companies with uh, sort of a very natural organic genesis. I like companies that uh, where founders uh, have first-hand experience the pain that they're trying to solve. I don't like companies where a bunch of guys come together and say, let's have a, let's have a company. Um, I also like uh, contrarians. I like, I like founders that are looking at the space and looking where everybody is going and then decide to turn and go the completely opposite direction. Go with sort of for up my ears. Okay. Uh, why don't we start with, uh, with Nihilish. Paul, if you can pass the microphone to, uh, to Nihilish, please. Sure. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yep. All right, great. Uh, good evening, folks. Uh, my name is Nilesh Trivedi. Uh, I'm a venture partner at Double Rock. We are an early stage uh, fund, uh, focusing mostly on enterprise, uh, big data, that kind of stuff. But uh, my personal experience has been uh, you know, operational all the way. Uh, I haven't 
about angel investments, but most of my background is uh, product management, uh, writing software, developing products. So I kind of bring a lot of uh, operating experience to the fund. Uh, and I know how to take products to market, uh, new markets in uh, service provider and in space. Uh, you know, what we focus on, you know, for me, uh, startups just like big companies is, are about people. Uh, so, and I've seen good ideas get, you know, effed up because, you know, the execution just didn't happen. So we kind of focus on, on the people aspect uh, quite a bit. Uh, and, and, and I love uh, knowing people, uh, you know, and, and, and pretty much sort of trying to understand how they can take an idea from zero to uh, wherever they can. So that's pretty much our focus. Thank you, Paul. Hi. How you doing, everybody? You awake? Good. Good, buddy. Good. I'd like to see you smile. My name is Paul Twombly, and uh, I am a general partner at Angels, uh, excuse me, uh, XF Ventures. I'm also a, a longtime member and active member of three different angel groups. The largest angel group in the world, that's the Caritzu Forum which has over 1,200 members now and 28 chapters around the world. Uh, also the oldest angel group in the United States, the, that is the Band of Angels, and then a boutique group called uh, the Angel Group. So anyway, uh, I've got 40 years in technology, started my career with AT&T, uh, worked for them for several years, uh, went off with a partner, started our own company back in the early 1970s. I was in my mid-20s. Uh, we built it up from two guys and $4,000 between us, to a $25 million company in three years, and again, that's a 19, early 1970s money, we sold that off. And uh, then I went to work for a company here in the Valley called Rome Corporation. Anybody knows the history of the Valley, Rome Corporation was the Facebook, uh, the Google of its day. Uh, when they, uh, they came up with the best places to work in the United States, uh, we won it five years in a row. Uh, Rome was bought by IBM, so I ended up working for IBM uh, for six years. They, got, uh, they sold that division off to Siemens, uh, I love the Germans. Uh, my grandfather was German. Uh, they make great automobiles. They don't make such good bosses. So uh, I did an exit out of uh, Siemens and went off and did a series of four startups. Uh, two of those startups were very successful. We made a lot of money. The last one was Foundry Networks, which we sold to Brocade back in uh, 2008, December of 2008, right in the middle of the crash for $2.6 billion, which was a nice walk away. And uh, the other two uh, startups were very, very efficient cash-burning machines. So I've been on both the success side and the, uh, the unsuccessful side. So my, my role here and what I like doing over the last four or five years is I like uh, having the opportunity, if you will, to give back to the entrepreneurs. I was very fortunate in my career that I had some very, very good coaches and some very good mentors, and that helped me be successful. So my helping you and, and a bunch of folks like you, this is my way of giving back to you and helping you be the next generation of successful people. Alan. Hi folks, uh, <coughs> welcome to Runway. I'm the founder here at, at Runway. Uh, my background is uh, uh, I've been on the venture side and entrepreneur side. I was part of a, uh, a group of students that launched a $20 million fund while we were in school. And we achieved three IPOs, um, averaging a billion dollars each. And um, I, on, on the entrepreneur side, I found that my first company was sold to Rakuten, which is the Amazon of Japan, and uh, I've, been a y, uh, I've been a founder at uh, Y Combinator, <laughs> and currently I'm working on, face, uh, on this uh, place called Runway, and it's basically the uh, kind of the, the, the ultimate startup space in the city. Thanks.